three, two, one, zero. Hey YouTube, it's Archangel, and today I want to talk to you guys about how to set up your auto top off with a reef keeper light. So what you're going to need is obviously a reef keeper light with a PC4, SL1, SL2, or SW5 module, a digital quadix float switch, Tom's aqua lifter pump, and some airline tubing. Okay? So let me show you how I have my system set up. Okay, so let's take a look at how to program the auto top off. The first thing that we're going to need to do is create an alarm. To do that, all you have to do is go to menu, okay, scroll down to alarms, and hit enter. Okay, I chose to use alarm one, so I'll use that. Next, it's going to ask you for a couple of alerts. What you could do is you could scroll through the different options. You could have it flash, beep, or send you an email. I chose to use none of those because I wanted to be completely silent when it's filling up my tank. Next, you're going to pick your device. Now, I've gone ahead and used the computer software to name my float switch so that way I know which switch I'm using. So you can see I put ATO float. Okay? It will probably be labeled as uh, switch A or switch B. But like I said, I've gone ahead and I've renamed it so that way it's easy to identify. So I'm going to use my device as the float switch. And you want it to trip or you want it to turn on when the switch opens. So I'm going to float, enter, and save. So now I've set my alarm. Next, let's go back. So hit the back button. Scroll up to modules and hit enter. I'm going to pick the PC4 that you plug your aqua lifter in. Okay, so you can see I've also gone ahead and used the computer software to name channel 2 auto top off. So we'll go ahead and press enter. Next you want to select your mode. Your mode should be automatically set to auto. Okay. So that's good. Next we'll scroll down to function. And your function should be set as on off. Okay. So these should be the default settings. The only thing you're changing here is you go into the alarm. And you want to select alarm one. Okay. And your action will be to turn on. So the default for the switch or for channel 2 is off. When the alarm is triggered, you want this the channel 2 to turn on and then hit save. Okay? So now your auto top off is set up, and that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. And I'll show you inside my sump. Alright, right now we're looking at the return chamber of my sump. Uh, this is where I put my float switch. Okay, you can see it uh, right here. Right now the float is in the closed position. If the water were to evaporate and the float would sink, it would trigger the alarm that we set on the reef keeper light and therefore turning on the aqua lifter pump until um, enough water is pumped back into the tank so the float can rise and then close the switch. I'm just going to pan the camera up a little bit. Okay. You can see right here, coming out from the back, is the clear airline tubing. That's the tube that um, comes from the aqua lifter pump to put the water back into the tank. And if we kind of look to the right a little bit more, I'm just going to move the camera. We can see I have it mounted on the wall my SL1 alright and um, 
the plug coming from the float switch plugs right into the bottom of the SL1 so it doesn't really have to go too far really simple setup here so what I'm going to do bring the camera a little closer I'm going to give you guys a little demonstration so let's say if the water would to evaporate I'm just going to pick up the float switch so it opens the uh, float so right now it's closed at the bottom I'm just going to pick it up and you can see that it triggered our alarm that we set on the reef keeper light and it's starting to pump the water back into the sump once it fills up okay I'm just going to lower the float here once the water fills up the alarm is no longer active and it turns off the aqua lifter pump pretty simple to do so if you guys have any questions comments concerns please leave them in the doodle box below this is going to be Archangel signing out I hope you found this video helpful.